midst of playing 16 out of 22 on the road. Morrell went too far, and he evacuates home play, so Maldi doesn't even have to make the throw to first. Swing and a miss. Valdez starts the game off with a couple of strikeouts, getting Dansby after Christopher Morrell. It's now a 2-2 count on Ian Happ. Swing and a foul tip. No, actually, it was not a foul tip. It was a swing and a miss, so Maldi makes the play down the first for the final out of the inning. Game hitting streak going. Jordan into center field. That's a 12-game hitting streak. 35 straight games that he's played in this year on base. And going back to last year, 39 in a row. The guy keeps getting a lot of ABs against this team. It's ball in the left field, sending the left fielder Morrell back. He is at the track. It's over his head and off the wall. Two runs are going to score. Jose Abreu puts the Astros on the board with a two RBI double. He likes hitting here at Minute Maid Park, making a bid out there to left field, pulling this baseball. And it looked like Morrell just started to drift, really wasn't comfortable with where he was at here at Minute Maid Park. And now it's Jeremy Pena's turn, Astros shortstop. A little punch shot in the left center field, falling fast. That's down for a hit. Jeremy Pena. Knocks in Jose Abreu, and the Astros with some two-out lightning lead it three to nothing. They've done it with a couple of hard-hit baseballs. They've done it with a couple of drop shots out. Now a hit to start this series. Chaz McCormick drills one deep to left field. That ball's off the wall on a bounce. Jeremy's flying around third. He's going to score easily. Chaz McCormick gives the Astros a 4 nothing lead. That's the magic number for the Houston Astros, usually very successful when they get to that. These guys facing Fromber for the first time, including Seiya Suzuki. And he goes down on strikes. Fromber using that curveball cutter combination. Four strikeouts of the first four batters. Took his time out. Now he goes after a higher pitch than that. Goes down on strikes. So Fromber rebounds after being down on the count for strikeout number five. Swing and a miss. He have another strikeout. That's now half a dozen for Fromber. Back-to-back -back strikeouts here in the third. The 1-0. Gomes hits one in the air. Right center field. On the run, Tucker. Back toward the track, gloving it. Tagging and scoring. The Cubs' first run is Bellinger. And now it's a 4-1 ball game. Gomes gets his 17. A swing and a drive. Deep left field. This ball game is tied. Get out the tape measure again for Christopher Morrell. And just like that, it's a brand new ball game tied at four. Uh, just a measly 4 all one this time for Christopher Morrell, but it's a huge one. It comes with a couple men on base, and boy, that's going to lift spirits in that Cubs dugout after getting there. Backside's handed to him the last two days in Minnesota. Nato will come to the plate. Could be two. Swanson and Madrigal. Call it to a double play, and the inning comes to an end. Well, Tyon continues to work efficiently since that four-run first. The one-one, rip to first. Mancini has the man in the rundown. There's already one out on the play. Now Mancini throws home. That's going to be a double play. Double play. Good job by Trey Mancini. He stepped on the bag for one, kept his eye on the runner at third all the while. That was Dubon. And as soon as he saw Dubon head for the plate, he fired it down to Gomes. That's a 3-6-3-2 three, three, double play. That ball rope. What a, what a play, play. Pena. Got double it. play. Jeremy Pena with a diving stop turns a double play. And what looked like a sure base hit off the bat of Suzuki. An electric defensive play from Jeremy Pena laying out to his left on a rocket. Able to bounce up and get that double play, doubling up Ian Happ on a phenomenal play to end that inning for Rafael Montero. We are still tied for a piece. Bregman sends one to left, pretty well hit towards the Crawford boxes and gone! Alex Bregman! Breaks a 4-4 tie with home run number five on the season. A two-run shot. Astros lead 6-4. Breggy getting big at home. Astros needed a big swing. Kind of stalled out with their offense since that first inning. But Dubon extending it with that two-out base hit sets it up for Breggy to go big fly to left field. For the Cubs. Hit in the air. Deep right center field. Bellinger going back at the track near the wall. Leaps. And did he make the catch? Yes, he did!
Bellinger made the catch. A leaping catch against the wall. He fell forward. What wow. a great, great catch by Cody Bellinger. Bellinger due to lead off, but I do not think he is going to hit to lead off the Cubs eighth inning after that circus catch. He landed awkward. Down to their last out. Got him. Ball game over. Neres strikes out Morrell to end it. A 1 2 3 9 for his second save of the year, the 89th of his career. Astros win it 6 to 4. That is a nice way to kick off the homestand.